Welcome to our first ever abugames.com feature match with commentary. We're bringing you our Star City Games Invitational Qualifier held on June 16th. I am Derek Peterson, joined by Matt Hibbard of abugames.com. As we have our final match here, we have Brian on the left, right, right, excuse me, and then Paul on the left. Brian is playing a blue white Delver, while Paul is playing black white tokens. Should be a good matchup. Hope so. This is the second time they've played today. They played in the Swiss portion. This is them meeting back up in the finals. Uh, Paul took that match earlier. As we see, it looks like Brian immediately decides to go for a mulligan here. Did not like that seven. Hopefully, he could get a better six. One, two lands. I don't know if I would ship that hand if I was Paul. I might keep that. Looks like Paul might be thinking it over. Oh, decides he would also like to ship that. So both players will be starting at six. One of the things that we've been discussing here with uh, Blue White Delver is that uh, one of the prominent cards in this deck, uh, Snapcaster Mage, has been rumored possibly be coming up on their uh, banning from Standard here this upcoming week. Uh, what kind of effect on Standard would you see that having? I don't know. My stance has always been that it's it's yes, it's a really good card, but I, first of all, I don't think it will be or should be banned, frankly. Okay. I don't think uh, if it does get banned, that'll affect the format too much, though. It, it might not affect our local store format, because we don't really see as much Delvers as you see at the higher tournaments, but if you look at any, like the Star City Games or uh, Pro Tour events, uh, you do see quite a bit of Delver, uh, sometimes taking up a vast majority of the top eight. So I think some people are clamoring for something different, as we see both players go to six. Do you think, do you think this is going to be, or the Delvers, the new Cobblade? I feel like they've created a format and standard where every year there's always a best deck, or, or at least a deck that seems to, to show up in enough numbers to really win the most. Yeah, I don't see that. I see that happening regardless. They can't just ban any card because of that happening. True. Because we have a turn one Delver for Brian. Gather the townsfolk from Paul. Passes the turn to Brian. Brian reveals Vapor Snag, flipping that Delver. One of the best plays Delver loves to see is a turn two, three two flyer. Swings for three, setting Paul to 17. Ponder from Brian. See, Manalik, Delver two. Another card didn't quite catch. So I'm back in the order of his choosing. Draws for turn. Or, excuse me, draws for the ponder. Plays Moreland Hant. Moreland Haunt. Moreland Hant. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to forgive us if we make a... Not the best on this. We're not professionals. We're first time effort. Goes to uh, Oblivion Ring. The Delver. No more 3-2 flyer for Brian. And tax to 2. Setting Brian to 18. And 2 tokens. <laughs> There's the second Delver from Brian as he passes the turn after that. No third land. I have a feeling this is going to be a quick matchup. Uh, this 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 match. It, well, this game. This uh, game. <laughs> this game inside the match. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, with honor of the period, it, it could because it sends Brian R down to 14. Uh, second, gather the townsfolk. This is not good for Brian as he's pretty low on land. Brian's already playing ahead, revealing the mana leak to transform the Delver. Swings for three more, setting Paul to 14. Both players at 14 now. Sends the turn back to Paul. Paul with two of all the Archangels, but no black mana to activate any of them, so they're effectively just tapping for colorless at this point. Brings all of them in, so he's tacking for eight here. Ryan's mulling over his decisions. Vapor snags one of the tokens. Ooh. Sends Paul to 13. And then taps one more. Let's see here. Oh, I believe that's a dismember paying the four life to kill the 2 2 token. Taking him to 10, and then taking four more, which sends Brian down to 6. Second main phase looks like we have a lingering souls. Not the best position for Brian as he reveals Malik, and that's enough. He just decides he cannot deal with that onslaught. 
All right, we're going to have both players go to game two.